We have the probability model that Alex has made for the number of goals that a local team has scored in a match. So zero to four, different probabilities, more than four, zero. Um, and then we're, this is in a model, so have to make certain assumptions. For example, the fact that the number of goals in a match will be independent of the number of goals in another match. Of course, that's not quite true in reality. We get things like form and, and uh, you know, teams go on a run of scoring lots of goals and then maybe not scoring many. So they can affect each other. But we need to make that assumption to be able to do some calculations. Alex chooses three matches at random. Use the model to determine the probability of each of the following. OK, part one. The team will score a total of exactly one goal in the three matches. Now, there's actually a few different ways that the team could score exactly one goal. They could score one goal in the first match and then zero in the next two. Or they could score zero, and then one, then zero. Or they could score zero, zero, one. So essentially, this is a true diagram sort of problem. Um, true diagram is just there really to help you understand it. It's, it's multiplying probabilities. but what we have is lots of different routes and let's say this is uh, one goal here and then you would go off this branch here and this would be zero and then here and this one would say be zero and you would multiply along. So for one zero zero it's going to be one fifth times three over twenty five squared. Now zero one zero will be a different route but actually it would be three over twenty five times one fifth times three over twenty five would actually be the same thing. And the same for 0, 0, 1, because the properties don't change. It would just be 3 over 25 squared times 1 fifth. So what we can do, instead of adding it together three times, is just times by 3. And that is going to be our answer. So a quick way of, instead of writing a fraction, is just to write 1 divided by 5. And then put a bracket here, 3 divided by 25 squared times 3. And we get 27 over 3,125. Now, that is accepted by the mark scheme. Um, arguably, it's, you know, it's a nice exact answer. The thing is, it is a model. And so I think it's a bit better to give it to, say, three significant figures. So 8.64 times 10 to the minus 3, which is going to be 0 .0 0 0 0.0864. So I'm going that as my final answer. A very small probability. Next up, the number of goals scored in the first two of the three matches will be equal, but the number of goals scored in the third match will be different. Now, there's different ways to do this one. I'm going to do it in the same sort of way that I did part one. And that is to consider, right, let's, uh, let's say that there are zero goals in the first two matches, and then the third is, not, is going to be different from zero. So I could do 001, 002, 003, and 004, or a much easier way to do this is zero, zero, not zero. That's what that represents there. Or I could have one, one, not one, and so on. Yeah, I've ended up squashing in a little bit. But right now, I'm going to get three over 25 squared for the zero, zero, and then it's going to be one minus three over 25. You could add, you could add them together, or you could just do one minus three over 25 to get not zero. It's going to be 22 over 25. And then I'm again, I'm adding. So next one is one fifth squared times four fifths. Okay, struggling a little bit to fit this all in. All right, I hope this is making sense. So, oh, he's only gone and done it, just about fitted that in. Okay, I'm not gonna, you know, write down each term, like expanded. I'm just gonna put the whole thing in my calculator. Hope, hope for the best that I put it in correctly. Okay, you can use the fraction button, but that's a good way of writing the first one. I 
this is the reason why it's the last question. You know, it's a long calculation that you've got to realize what to do. Okay, last one. And we get 552 over 3,125. And I'm going to write that, okay, 0 0.177 to three significant figures. All right, well done. One last little bit. We're told that during the first 10 matches this season, the team scores a total of 31 goals. So that means the mean will be 31 divided by 10. It's going to be 3.1. Without carrying out a formal test, explain briefly whether this casts doubt on the validity of Alex's model. Well, we can see there's significant probabilities around 0, 1, and 2 here. There's, you know, there's 1 at 3, but like the mean of the model is definitely going to be less than 3. There's no way that this is going to counteract the, the 3 over 25 for the 0. So um, the model's average will be less than 3. There are ways actually to calculate the mean, or, or sorry, we call it the expected value, the probability distribution. It's not on the syllabus, you might want to look into it. But as they said, that would be carrying out a formal test. So models, average or expected value. I want to go with models predicted average. Do you know what? I'm going to use the proper lingo, expected value. will be less than three. So it may not be reliable. Okay, nice one.